Hello everybody, Easy here. So, I've been asked several times, how do you install Luminescent Platinum to Yuzu on Android? And I thought I should make a quick video showing how I do that. It's not a complicated process, so let's begin. Thanks to Team Luminescent for giving me a small tip to greatly increase performance as well. And one thing that should be said at the start, this method will definitely work up to Luminescent 2.0f. The team has announced they're attempting a giant rework for their next update, basically making massive sections of the mod from scratch, so it's unknown if future versions will work yet. I'll leave an update in the pinned comments when it's released. This video also assumes you have Yuzu Mobile running and you've added your prod and title keys. If you have not done that yet, be sure to set up Yuzu on Android. And if you don't have access to a PC with File Explorer, I recommend getting Z-Archiver on the Play Store for use with Android-only setups. Editing Zoe here. Once Yuzu is set up, we're going to need three files, BDSP 1.0, BDSP 1.3 update, and Luminescent 2.0f. To download 2.0f, go to the Nexus Mods page in the description while logged into an account. If you don't have one yet, you can make one for free, and the site is used in modding hundreds of different games. You can then go to the Files section and download the latest release by selecting Download Manually. Once we have the zip, we're going to want to extract it with a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. We will then see Luminescent 2.0f as a folder, and we're going to want to go inside that folder. Then inside that folder, there will be another one labeled ROMFS. We're going to go inside that one as well, into one labeled data. Inside this directory, you will see several files. We're going to want to delete the global game managers file, which contains some patches that are not necessary for using on Android, and you may see better performance without them. Once this file is deleted, we're going to go back to the folder that contains Luminescent 2.0f, and we're going to want to copy this to the directory on screen now. Internal storage slash android slash data slash yuzu slash files slash load slash title ID. If you don't have a folder with those numbers created in your load folder, which is the case if you haven't run it before, go ahead and create a folder with that ID. If you've already launched Brilliant Diamond before, we're going to want to clear our save data too. You can also make a backup of this so you don't lose your progress. We're going to go to the directory on screen, Yuzu, NAND, User, Save, Numbers, and delete the contents of that folder. If you want a backup, copy these files first. Once you've placed Luminescent in the mod folder and your save data is empty, we're going to go to the Yuzu for Android settings menu, select Install Game Update or DLC, and install the 1.3 update. Once our game is updated to the mod-compatible 1.3 version, our mod is installed in the correct location and our save folder is cleared. We're all set to launch and play. If your game is launching like the normal vanilla version, double check that you followed each previous step correctly. If you're still having issues, I recommend asking the Yuzu Discord for more support. Once this is all done, you're all set to play. Enjoy! If this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to respond to comments below and support when I can. Take care.